Meditation is a very important part of our awakening, the process of our awakening. We don't meditate to awaken, but the meditation sort of plants the seeds and prepares us for this great awakening from the dream, from the dream world that most of us live in. So it's a very important part because we need to be still, very still, and we need to be able to move beyond our thoughts in order to awaken. This is very important and meditation is something that greatly helps us with this. So today we'll do a short bell meditation to get started with meditation. Meditation simply means uh, moving our attention, shifting our attention, having some control of our attention. Um, this is concentration. It comes in two parts, meditation. First is concentration, the ability to concentrate enough so that we're not lost in our thoughts, so that we can move beyond our thoughts into something deeper than our thoughts. And the second part is insight. And there's nothing we can do about insight. We can't try to have insight. But when we move beyond our thoughts, insight naturally arises. And we simply pay attention to that insight because it will tell us so much about ourselves and life beyond the dream. You know, these two things will plant the seeds for our awakening, will prepare us for awakening. So today I thought I would do a short bell meditation, right? And this is very, very simple. We just focus on the sound of the bell. And um, I spent a long time with Thich Nhat Hanh and was part of the Order of Interbeing and learned a lot about bell meditation and, and what he calls being a bell master, <laughs> which is essentially ringing the bell. And uh, there's uh, different parts to this. In, in this tradition, we call, um, we don't say we strike the bell. First, we wake up the bell wake up the bell like this. And that gives people the idea that the bell is going to sound so that they can put their full attention on the sound of the bell that's going to come. And then when we ring the bell, we call inviting the bell. We're inviting the bell to sound. We're inviting this bell to sound. It's a beautiful sound, isn't it? And the nice thing about using a bell is we're not listening so much to the sound of the bell as we're listening to when the sound trails off, when the sound becomes quieter and quieter, and we no longer hear it. Right? So we're listening to that sound between the sound of the bell and the sound of the silence that comes after the bell. This is what we're listening for. And this helps us quiet our mind and put our attention on silence itself which no matter how much sound is going on in the world, we have this silence with us always, but we're not aware of it. We haven't put our attention on it. So meditation is one way that we learn to put our attention on this deep silence and stillness that comes before thoughts. This is very important. You know, it has a wonderful effect on our life and points us in the direction of what we truly are beyond thoughts, this pure, unlimited awareness and consciousness before any thoughts, before the world as we perceive it. So let's do a short meditation and we'll listen to the sound of the bell and the sound as the bell fades away and there's silence. So listen very much to that sound where the the sound of the bell ends and the silence begins. This will focus your attention and this itself is a wonderful meditation.
you may notice that other sounds come up, don't they? Other sounds arise after this, and your attention is very keen on this. From silence, there are other sounds. There may be sounds in your room when you're listening to this. Um, I can hear a dog barking outside. So there's different sounds that arise after the bell has, you know, subsided. The sound of the bell has subsided and there's just, uh, it's gone into silence. Other sounds appear. But I want you to think about this, that this silence that's always here is actually here when the bell is ringing. When you're hearing the full sound of the bell, when you're hearing my voice, this is a rising out of silence, isn't it? There's silence and sound, right? And we separate these two. But this silence that I'm talking about is here even within the sound. So I want you to listen to if you can hear this silence while the sound is happening. And then after the bell subsides and you don't hear the sound of the bell anymore, and a new sound comes in that your attention goes to, notice if you can hear the silence in that new sound, that within that sound there is also silence. So let's do it again. And now listen for the silence, not just at the end, but throughout the entire process of sound to silence. Throughout the entire time, listen for the silence within all sound. Can you hear the silence in the sound, the silence in the sound itself? Can you hear the silence in my voice while I'm speaking? Can you hear the silence between my words as I speak? There's a space in between words where there's silence, but also in the words themselves there is silence. They come from silence. They come from stillness. So do your words. All sounds you hear come from this silence, this stillness. So notice any sound that's happening in your environment. The sound of my voice, other sounds, traffic sounds, whatever's going on in your environment. And because your attention is now moved to sound, you're more acutely aware of these sounds, aren't you? You can hear them more clearly. They kind of arise and stand out in this field of silence. The more we become aware of the silence, the more we're aware of the sounds too. Our hearing seems to have improved And when we become aware of the silence in the sound itself, it reveals something to us. One, it reveals that there's silence in the sound. There's something much more than the sound happening. And this is like a crack in the dream. In the dream world, we see silence and sound as two different things. There's silence here and sound here, and they're not the same. But in reality, they're not separate. 
in reality they're one. So if you can hear the silence in the sound, you're moving towards this understanding of truth, non-dual reality. Not two, but one. And even as I say this, with the silence in my words, there's some truth resonating in you. Something is resonating in your heart that feels truth. The mind may argue and go, what, silence and sound too? No, they're not two, they're separate. Well, the mind is going to argue with this because the mind has created the dream. And it lives in the dream. It cannot understand the truth of life. It cannot understand the non-dual truth of life, of oneness. And you've tried a lot to understand it, haven't you? It doesn't work. But something else does understand this intuitive feeling, which is beyond thoughts. There is silence in all sound. Silence and sound are not separate. You know that sound can arise out of silence, right? You understand that there's silence and then there's sound, right? There's silence and there's sound, right? So you understand that, that this sound arose in a field of silence and then settled back into silence again. So this the mind can understand because it sees them as separate. But the understanding that silence is also before the sound, during the sound, and after the sound. This is beyond the mind's ability to understand because this is non-dual understanding. You only understand this intuitively with a feeling, with a sense of the truth of this. Try and hear the silence in the sound. Now notice if you can, throughout the rest of your day, if you can notice silence in all sounds that you hear, before the sound, in between sounds, and during the sound. See if you can notice silence within the sounds, during the sounds. That silence is still here. It hasn't gone anywhere. And this deep silence is also true of you. This universal, infinite awareness is deep stillness and silence. It's before anything existed, during the time everything exists, and after everything ceases to exist. That's why it's eternal. That's why it's infinite. And if you can hear the sound in silence, it will take you here to this great truth. Mm -hmm.